Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing something very different. So I am hosting a wine tasting at my house this evening. I've done this one other time. It's just me and my family. And I thought I would show you guys what I do to get ready for that, the table setting, how I prepare everything, the charcuterie board and snacks, and maybe give you guys an idea of something you could do for yourself, your family, your friends, if you are of age, of course. If not, you can do this with soda tastings, tea tastings, snacks, whatever, be responsible basically. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, if you've not already, I would love it if you consider subscribing. I've been just now starting doing more like lifestyle videos like this on Wednesdays, and I have more makeup beauty related content on Sundays. So would love to get to know you more down in the comments below. If you're interested, it is free. Just click the little subscribe button. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so far I have just wiped down the table. You can see it's a little streaky. Salem, you are not helping. Helping. You're not supposed to be on the table. He'll probably have to go in the basement because he is bad when food comes out. Tonight, these are what we're working with. Yes, one is open. Bethany, my friend and I got into that a little bit early. Shout out to Bethany if you're watching. But these are from a company called Bright Sellers. Not sponsored. They didn't give these to me. I bought them. But um, I've only gotten this is my second box from them and we've liked it so far. Basically, they give you these cards and they correspond with the bottles. And then on the back of each card, it tells you what kind it is, like the name, the type of blend, the year, little description, notes, data, all of this kind of pairing information where it's from. That makes it really helpful for you to be able to be knowledgeable about the wines basically. And then they also tell you whether it's a white, a red, a blend, whatever, how to chill it. But what I did last time that worked really well that I'm gonna do again is basically the different guests get to read a card. So I'll have one for my mom, one for my dad, one for my brother, and one for his fiance. And they'll each get a card, and then whenever it's their turn, they'll read to us all about it. And then we'll all taste it together. Um, and then the way Bright Sellers works is at the bottom, then I ask everybody and we rate it, and I write it in, and when you rate it, if it's a subscription service you keep doing, um, you basically get refined selections. Like I didn't pick these, they picked them out for me, but they update your preferences based on how you rated them. Now this is a subscription, but if you guys wanted to do this, that's kind of why I showed you guys the card. Most of this information you can find on any bottle. Like this one, for example, it'll talk about the notes and all of that kind of things, all of those things and have like the percentage and all of that on the bottle. So you very easily could just pick four random drinks of your choice and write like on an index card, like a little thing like this, if you wanted something fun to do like that. But that's how I do it. So it's more of like a group activity event when we get to the actual tasting. And my family really liked that last time. It made it feel really luxe and fancy, even though we are just at a tiny little $10 garage sale table in my home. So if you didn't know, because I didn't know, um, according to this company, here's kind of the serving temperatures, according to what they send you, um, about if you wanna chill it immediately or if you have a little bit of time. So I've been trying to follow this. Um, I have one sweet white this time that I've already got in the fridge because it says two hours. Um, this time they sent two medium reds, so about 30 minutes before everybody gets here, I will put the two bottles that I have of that in the fridge. And then probably when we start tasting like the second or third bottle, I'll just go ahead and pop the one full red we have in the freezer for five minutes. So that's the plan for this evening. So next up, I'm gonna get some glasses and plates out for everybody. Uh, Wesley and I recently got this set of really nice, I really love the shape of these square plates. Got them from Kohl's. They are Food Network brand if you want to look them up. We got a whole set of four like big plates. These are the smaller kind of like salad plates. Bowls and mugs for I think $60 for the whole set. So it's pretty reasonable and we like those. So I only have four of these smaller ones and Wesley and I are participating too. So I'm going to need six but at least put out the four for our guests and find something else for Wesley and I to use. And then I'm going to get out my wooden cutting board that I have to use for the charcuterie. 
All right, so here's kind of our setup so far. I only have four of these square plates and four of these glasses, so we're a little mismatched on the settings here, but that's okay. Um, I've got, this is a battery operated um, wine machine, so you press down and the little, I don't know if you can see it, the little uh, spirally, you know, the thing goes into the cork and then you press up and it's supposed to come out. Haven't tried that yet, but that is fun. And then I started getting out some things to go along with the charcuterie board. This is salsa, garlic hummus, roasted red pepper hummus. We're just gonna have chips with this. And then I've got um, bell peppers and cucumbers to go with the hummus and crackers. And I've got one little fancy spoon. The others are just regular spoons. I need more fancy spoons. I found this a couple weeks ago and thought it would be good for this. So. That's gonna get popped in the fridge. I think I got this honestly at a garage sale, but you can find these little trio things. It's like all connected, you can lift it. Probably on Amazon if I had to guess. So that's where we're at right now. All right, so next up it is charcuterie board time. And I've got these little mini cucumbers and these couple of bell peppers. I'm just gonna wash and slice up to start with on the board. All right, so Corey, Jenny, and Wesley are socializing in the other room, but here's what we got so far. We got the peppers cut up, the cucumbers, and then I went ahead off camera and rinse and put on some fresh blueberries, some mozzarella cheese. I have a brie wheel that I'm gonna put in the oven, but not everybody likes that. Some rosemary crackers. These are also rosemary crackers, but these have seeds in them and my mom can't have seeds, so I got her these crackers. These are also plant-based, so they're low carb, but pretty much all this stuff is either local or from Kroger, so pretty easy to find. All right, so the charcuterie board is finished. The only thing missing, like last time I had some summer sausage, but there's no meat on this. I noticed some people it's not a real charcuterie board unless it has meat, but we have no meat tonight. Um, but we do have this brie we're gonna do. Um, I did add some gala apples. We're gonna have tortilla chips on the side. And that is it for the food portion. The last thing I like to do just to set the mood is go on YouTube. I searched wine tasting music. And I'm gonna pick this one right here. And that will just give us, I think it's at least over an hour long of some different, like, I think it was like jazz or something like that before once it started getting going. Let's see here. Yeah. So that's it. Now I'm just gonna wait keep my food in the fridge, chill the wine. Maybe I'll have some shots for you guys of uh, the tasting and everything, but if not, I hope you had fun hanging out with me, getting ready. Hope you get to have your own event or just have fun yourself at home, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.